Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back again. I know like I take month breaks, like I should just stop saying I'm back because I literally don't film for two or three months and then I come back. But I'm back and I've got a new tutorial for you guys with some new products, with some new techniques that I've learned and we're just gonna get right on into it. Okay, so we are gonna start off with, I've already done all my base makeup, like blush, bronzer, brows, all that jaws. Now I'm going into my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, which if you don't know by now, is my go-to palette for like everything, because it's just got like most of the colors that I've used. And I am going to dip right in to this yellowy mustard shade here. Really get that on the brush. Tap off the excess. Now, lately I've been liking to use a mini mirror, so bear with me. And this look is really simplistic. I'm not doing a 20 minute tutorial today don't want to, I want to keep it simple for you guys. So I'm gonna keep going in with that yellowy mustard shade on the other corner and drag it in. Like I'm literally just putting this yellowy mustard shade all over my eye. Now I'm going to take the same brush with a little bit more yellow and I'm just going to connect the under eye. So that it's all connected. This is actually a really simple eye look. Kind of. Partly. It's very simple with eyeshadow. It's when you get more into like the rest of it that it gets a little more complicated. So, I don't know if you guys know how I feel about cut braces, but I per personally hate doing them. Like, I love the look of them. Don't get me wrong. They're beautiful. But I hate doing the actual concealer part of the cut crease. So, I take a very pigmented white eyeshadow. That's what I tend to do. And you personally just kind of cut out my crease with the really white eyeshadow. Because why put so much work into something when you can put half of it in and still have the same outcome? So you can use a like non-shimmering white eye personally like using a shimmering light when I do looks like this with one shade. I'm doing a few of these lately, but not exactly like this one because this one is a new product to play around with. And I'm excited to play with. So, and there's our kind of cut crease. Then I'm just gonna take that brush that we used with the yellow, blend out the edges so that it doesn't look so sloppy and then we have this nice little well like the light would like to work at that angle we have this nice little kind of cut crease moment kind of not there we go now here is where i'm about to get a little more Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Guess we're just gonna have to use this brush because it is a tiny slide brush. Yes. 
so if you guys don't know what these are this is a steel glitter high glitter super excited to have these um i have five new ones and this one is diamond dust which i think would look really good with the yellow so i'm going to take a little bit of diamond dust on this brush here and I'm going to very carefully mm, that's much more messy than I thought it was and this stuff is seriously cool I don't even think you can see it because of the lighting problem. Yeah, I have. What's going on? Now, because it's a liquidy kind of, well, I can hardly really see it. I take my fan, keep my eye closed. This is also kind of holding up any extra colors from earlier makeup or even fallout from the yellow. And then you've just got this really nice glitter crazy moment. I don't want there it is. I know it's messy, but this is the first time I'm ever doing this, so just have to come for me. Okay, it looks better now that it's kind of well, the rest of it with the same kind of thickness. Okay, good. Okay, now I'm gonna go do my other eye off camera and then we'll finish up. Okay, so I put wing eyeliner on and some mascara because you guys know how I feel about fake lashes just feel like they hide the look and I don't like them and I can't apply them right so I just don't do them but now we're on to one of my favorite steps which is highlighter my favorite steps are lipstick highlighter and then pretty much everything then, okay so we're gonna take our elf highlighting brush we are going to take our broken palette from beach cosmetics we're going to basically graze the gold shade called Electra. And we are going to graze our cheek gently with it. So if you guys like hear yelling outside, I think my mom just tried to kill the giant spider outside of our house. That's... Cause she's afraid of him. I named him Billy. And now he's probably dead. So that shows how my mom feels about spiders. Living creatures. Okay, now, our final step is lips. I don't know which one to use. I'm feeling nude, maybe, maybe. Hmm. I'm getting celebrity skin by Jeffrey. Will give me the look I want. 
There we go. Ooh, I like this shade. I just bought it, so. <laughs> Happy I have it. I think it looks good with this. I think I look good enough for today. But we already know that the mandatory step is setting spray. Okay guys, that is it for today. I'm so happy that I'm back to filming. I hope you guys liked this look. I tried to be as self-explanatory as possible. Well, not self-explanatory, but I just tried to be explaining as best as possible. I would just like to restate that the steel glitter that I use is Diamond Dust. Um, you can use multiple different shades. With this look, probably you could even use like a gold, more goldy tone shade, but I don't have a goldy tone. I really hope that you guys liked this video and that you guys enjoyed watching it, and I'm happy to be back to YouTube. Um, hopefully I will start actually posting once to twice a week, not just every two months. <laughs> so, but thank you so much for watching if you came and watched, and I love you all so much. Mwah.